what is happening, great people? It's Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia, and today I have my friend Ellie with me. Hello, everyone. I'm happy to be here. Today we are going to make a video for you about what is happening with the prices for gadgets and appliances in the Russian market. For this, we today travel to the very outskirts of Moscow to visit a big shopping mall called Vegas. And what is interesting is that there is a very big pedestrian bridge right in front of it where we are right now walking. But before we begin, I'd like to mention one small thing. In the comment section to the previous videos, I saw a lot of comments with support. Thank you very much to everybody. But of course, this is statistics and you cannot always have only good comments. There are a lot of them saying some bad stuff about us. Well, that's sad. But what I actually paid attention to is the comment saying that how can you smile in your videos while everything is happening. And I think that today we will be smiling a lot because <laughs> I know Ellie, you know Ellie, both of us, we are very positive. But the thing is that, of course, everything is sad. We all see this, we all understand this, but don't make us lose our smile because smile is one of the last things that we still have. First of all, we would like to say that, of course, all the appliances, all these gadgets is an everyday basis costs just like the groceries for all the people. So we think that this topic is quite important as well. But the thing is that, of course, we can be aware of the exact prices for the iPhone or something like this that used to take place several months ago and right now. And of course, it would be very difficult to understand what was the price for Samsung GX 55, GX Y35, whatever. So the plan for today is to show you the actual prices for some stuff, to compare it to the average budget that the people have, and to make some interviews with the shop assistants if they would let us, to ask them what was the price change in the last weeks. I would also add that even before, all these electronics and devices were very expensive for Russians, and their salaries weren't enough to buy them, and they would usually take loans or credit, so now we want to see if it's possible for Russians to afford any electronics. Yeah, that, that was a very good point, by the way, because even before that, yeah, people here, they were not used to buy something in cash, because, all right, we'll show you everything. I think that today we'll have one more difficulty <laughs> in making this video. We were in the Samsung shop and we were not let in because... We were kicked out from there because we were with a camera and they said that no filming if you don't have the authorization. Yeah, and right now we are in front of MVideo. This is, I would say, the most popular key account if we are talking about some appliances and gadgets in Russia. So let's begin from something that a lot of people are using and these are mobile phones what can you say if we are talking about the prices i'm a bit shocked about this price because some people buy a car for this price i think it's like 164 thousand rubles and for a phone it's like insane yeah and let's do following today so the average exchange rate here that we are using is about 100 rubles per usd so today you will see several price tags what you can do is you can divide it by 100 and you will have the usd price vat included in this case as ali said yeah that's crazy it's 165,000 for a basic version of the iphone 13 pro max and this is and the basic version is and 128 gigabytes yeah what for is one terabyte it's 200 uh, 40,000 rubles. 240,000 rubles. The average salary in Moscow is maybe 50, 60,000 rubles in Moscow. Maybe 60, 80? Okay, yeah. But in smaller cities, if it's not Moscow, it goes from 30,000 rubles. I even made a video where people uh, told me in Dagestan that their average salary is 10,000 rubles. So can you imagine buying this phone? No. I was lucky enough, two days before all of this started, to buy iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I bought it um, using a credit loan for two years, uh, and I paid 120,000 troubles. Right now, the price is 180,000 troubles, which means the 50% increase. 50. He's such an entrepreneur. 
<laughs> you bought a phone for 120 and now it's 180. So yeah. smart, smart approach. <laughs> we already have memes here about this. Like, you don't do anything, you just go to sleep. You used to have a computer for 100,000 troubles, you wake up, now it is 200. Crazy. A life hack. If you don't have enough money to buy these phones, you just come here and do everything that you need. Like, these kids, like, they came here <laughs> to play games, I think. Smart. What we think, of course, can be important today to show is a lot of different appliances that the regular people are already using. Yeah, and here I think we would need support from the shop assistants. Let's try to find one. Скажите, как поменялись цены на товары, если сравнивать три недели назад и сейчас? Ну, смотрите, на определенные модели, получается, цены подскочили прямо в два, в два с половиной раза. То есть вот так, к примеру, телевизор, у которого красная цена там 33 тысячи, сейчас 56 тысяч. То есть, ну вот так вот. И на самом деле очень-очень много позиций. То есть в два раза прям, да, подорожали? Ничего себе. А люди до сих пор покупают? Например, то, что подорожало в два раза, но они все равно покупают, да? Или очень сильно упал спрос? Нет, наоборот, спрос повысился, в любом случае люди так или иначе покупают. Потому что если не возьмут сейчас, не возьмут уже ну, никогда, скорее всего, такую технику. Поэтому, да, покупают, покупают. Also the price for the household appliances, like fridges, increased a lot. The price increased from 20% till 100%. These fridges were 65,000, now it's 84. Some people were panic buying at the first days when everything happened and they could not look at all the details about this fridge and just say, okay, I buy it, let's go. Now we want to show you how prices changed for the premium segment for the coffee makers. This one, which costed 180,000 rubles. And this, uh, he said, costed like 70,000 rubles. So I don't know if people are still gonna buy these coffee makers, which now cost so much. I don't know if there was big influence for people in the elites, maybe they just had all their money in dollars and if you had your money in dollars, I wouldn't say that this uh, prices increase would affect you much. What is important to understand once again is not only the price increase, but how much money people earn, how much did they used to earn, yeah, and did this amount change? Spoiler! not yeah so of course uh, here people are getting paid in rubles and uh, they don't have the amount of rubles right now their income increasing at the same percentage so as I said overall it would be about 80,000 rubles as an average salary in Moscow but it would be about 20 30 in the regions having a coffee machine for 120,000 or 240,000 is absolutely impossible but once again this one we just showed as an example of a premium segment. You know what you definitely need to buy right now? What? The hair dryer before they are still here. Hair dryer? Wow. I think I will better dry my hair with wind <laughs> because these prices are way too insane. All right, let's go and film somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> Am I really that red right now? <laughs> yes. He's always so shy when I'm here, always so red. <laughs> no, guys, it's just, I didn't change the jacket yet. <laughs> anyway. The jacket is for like minus 30 and now it's March. Yeah, great wide range of cameras. Wow, such a big choice. Maybe I should make videos with this. Recam DVC. 360. Mm. Actually, I know uh, how some prices changed because I bought my camera in the end of November or in the beginning of December and now when I was looking for the same cameras, the prices, they were twice more expensive and also it's a very sensitive topic for me. I wanted to buy the new lenses for my camera and there are no lenses for my exact camera in Russia anymore. They just ran out of stock. It's impossible to buy it. And also I lost my drone during my expedition to the far north and now it's three times more expensive. Three? Three 
because it was 40,000 rubles and now it's 100 and or, or 100 with something like 120. My dear camera, I will use you very, very accurately. I hope that you live for a long time. <laughs> Well, what are your overall feelings after everything you saw today? Well, the increase in prices is of course sad considering that so many people are now losing their jobs because it's not only people who work here lose their jobs but also a huge team in the company and many international companies are leaving means that people losing their jobs. We try to stay positive and even though the atmosphere overall now is sad and might be depressing we try to still make videos and to show you the life in Russia to show you people <laughs> One point you know what is sad is that right now this train reminded me of kids in general and so the thing is that that's all right for us adults to stay without some entertainment or without some expensive phones but the thing is that all these prices they would affect children they would affect parents who are paying the price for children's entertainment or education or something like this so what is sad for me first of all right now is yeah all the restrictions that can be hitting kids their education their entertainment and all of that because i think that that train definitely because of the maintenance because all of this stuff the price of the ticket would definitely go up and like yeah anyway i will be happy if you continue to watch my videos and definitely come and join ellie's channel she's filming a lot about russia about the parts of russia where i don't go to and some extra stuff yes i just came back to moscow from my expedition to the very far north of Russia, I went to Varkuta and Yakutsk. You probably have never been there, right? No, I haven't. I haven't. Where even many Russians haven't been to. And I'm trying to show you the most remote, unique places of Russia and our cultures and nationalities. Now it's quite difficult to continue making these videos, but I do continue and I will be happy to see you on my channel as well. At this moment, that is it. It was Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia, and... And Ellie from Russia. Bye, guys. Bye. Stay safe.